indigenous countries waiting for these paramount chiefs to spark them off in the return to the King's Bench Court of all the Queen's Bench Court titles seized on. And I'm saying uh, here today myself, the um, paramount chief uh, of uh, Moai Crown, uh, King William IV Trust here set up in Auckland uh, as administrator and executor of the Manukau Moriori Trust and King William IV Moai Crown Trust. Creditor, bank, uh, 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 <coughs> um, justice system in these courts that we're setting up in Tahege Marae, west of uh, Pokianga, uh, and that's next Saturday on the 18th of November 2017. From this day today, we're taking the Māori and the, uh, uh, that uh, refere from Manukau title to Hori, uh, Hori Tikuri, uh, the paramount chief of the Tahege land blocks, one brick block of land under one chief, British title, deeds of title. Okay, so we'll explain that a little. We're trying to fit this video into a one long four gigabyte um, uh, before it runs out on the cameras. So I'm going to try and put as much as I can in. We have Dion Walker present today and Tika Lady T Daniel, that's her surname, his wife. And uh, we have uh, Proxy uh, to uh, Wayne Titai, Proxy to John Tehana, Tahana, Proxy to Henare Tehana, and Proxy to Manahi Parapara Mohini, the Moriori chief. So we have those Ngāpui uh, that are here in this executive of uh, Te Uluwaka Morai Native Court. We opened up. So that uh, they'll be at uh, the um, um, Tāheke Morai Native Magistrate Court. We'll open up to extend from here to that court with them there to here as well. So we're connecting up that title to this title in this jurisdiction of King's Bench Court, um, uh, sovereign authority with this flag as being prominent as King's flag, sovereign authority. Okay, so um, we have, uh, uh, today we had Annette Matthews, or Annette Hakarai, uh, present with us to, to be coming shortly, just on the end of our videos, uh, to sit here with us as being present, the four of us, a quorum of this way to make it legal, legitimate and authoritative as a precedent case to go to Tahakema. Okay, so that makes it authenticated uh, with her being the uh, caretaker and the um, trustee of this marae in Auckland, Ipsum, uh, 1 Clyde Street and the corner of Manukau Road in Ipsum, Auckland. So this is the marae closest to the one Tree Hill and the Kafaru, the giant of Waikato, under this uh, uh, chiefs down there uh, that we're using. Te Rau Akitau Wharehere Manukau, Referee for Manukau and uh, King Tawhiho, the power note for our uh, uh, debtors instrument against the uh, uh, judgment debtors on the Queen's uh, Bench Court as third party to a two party contract between those chiefs and King William IV and King George IV brothers with their father, King George III and King William III, the creator of the Bank of England. This hat here with the municipalities of Belfast, uh, Northern Ireland, where my ancestors come from, John Rogan, the judge that put these two, this deal together with uh, sale and purchase agreement with Refere for Manukau in uh, uh, Auckland, uh, Awaroa, uh, Native Magistrate Court in Helensville, and as well as Te Rawaikato, Wharehere Manukau, and King George put that title together in Edinburgh Magistrate Court. That's uh, where the, all the native courts in the world have got their jurisdiction from this title today and Refere for Manukau. We are having his celebration today as being historic, frozen in time, hidden, from everyone's view, as the secret of the banks is now exposed. We are exposing it all for you. And this flag that goes with that in the instructions in this book, Magistrate Court, I've added the uh, uh, pages today 
of John Rogan and his uh, statements that go with the other hui we had here of the receipt of Rewhana from Mother Kau here and John Rogan right here and his statements that I've inserted today and we will put the other Taheke documents for the native titles up there in that native court this week coming before I go up to Taheke. So I just want to read out what I've put here. I've got a lot of reading to get through uh, and quickly do this and uh, we'll go back to uh, Dion and I afterwards to uh, we have a retake on everything and we will uh, continue with that. But um, that's the way it goes and that's the way we're comfortable with things uh, that are happening here. To uh, Umu Akamarai we are at today. And um, um, so we start off with John Rogan Memorial. Anniversary day today, 11th of November 1862. The Native Land Act of New Zealand 1862 is formed by this day. And that was put into legislative acts through the Ratna Church in Ratna down the line with Mohi Manukau and the Manukau family and this Rogan land agent from Britain. Okay, so that's how that was. The government of New Zealand goes down to Ratna to get permission to use these native acts for their jurisdiction of authority. The Ratna Church has made a statement that they're going to stop the government from going there and that's not our call. Our call is the British title not so much the uh, Ratna Church, but the fact that the Manukau's were involved with Rogan in the Ratna Church as being a native church and not a British or European church of Pakeha or white Europeans. So that's where we've got with that. Um, was the Native Act was formed this day, 155 years ago. The Paramount Chief of Revo from Manukau and the uh, sale of his Pukekohe lands uh, in Franklin district area from Clevedon over the Bombay Hills, all that area, uh, down to Ramarama and uh, Karaka, over to Afitin and also uh, to uh, Waiuku, all that Pukekohe area is one title to one chief. That's what we're doing today. This is his day. This is Reverend's day today and we're here in these uh, 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 committee uh, in this Marae and the same committee will be up in Taheke on Saturday next week, 18th. Five o'clock on Friday, the 17th of November is the Bofani. If you're coming to that hui, bring your deeds of title with British uh, 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 certificates and also one chief. Now, I won't go any further than that for now. We'll talk about that when we get to Taheke. Uh, I've spent time with Morris uh, Baker and his titles are such the same as Refere for Manukau's title for Ori Tikuri, the chief of that Taheke area. Uh, it can go further than that as well. Um, so, um, I'll move on to what I've written here and then we'll quickly go on to the book of what this day is about. Um, now today we are proclaiming the uh, British title to New Zealand and Pacific Islands World New World Order Commercial Trading Bank flag here in my at the back of me and here on the on the front of this coat of arms of King William IV, King Ernest Augustus IV, or well, King William's here on the front of my shirt, and the Maui statue here, the seal of Maui crown in. Uh, Queen Elizabeth's Great Court in London is our title and King William IV eight point star here, the sheriff and also surrogate of King William's flag and his Admiralty ship and his horse here and his crown on my front of my jacket, my coat, I mean my, my shirt and also we got the flag here of his Admiralty and the British flag here and the Maui flag here of Maui crown, uh, God's truth, deeds of truth, Maui. Uh, and also we have here the uh, flag, the 1834 Declaration of War flag. It is a trading, bank, commercial, business, contract, private contract flag of Admiralty that has nobody's business but a two-party contract. 
I'm saying that, that anybody under the Queen, Elizabeth or Queen Victoria, is a third party to a two-party contract under the 1834 Bank <coughs> Declaration of War for pirates. This flag is for pirates who get in the way of these contracts between us and Westminster Magistrate Court and the British Navy First Lord of the Sea, Sir Philip Jones. That's our partner, our legitimate legal partner with these paramount chiefs I'm talking about and the live ones, which is myself and Manahi, Parapara, Mohini, Moriori, um, with the Moai on the East Island to Tipito there, to Tipito on the East Coast uh, on our Wano uh, land rocks and our Wano land in East Island and Variety Island. Rapanui to Mokonui and uh, Raiate to Mokonui and Tipito, over here to Tipito in East, East Island. Okay, so that's that. Um, the magistrate courts, the natives in our old bank, is this flag was put together with Rogan and uh, uh, Manukau, uh, Paramount Chief. This flag was put together as a bank flag in our old bank magistrate court. And that's where the commerce was done in Aurora and not at Titi Marae in Waitangi. It has no business in contracting with this flag. So I'm saying to those people in the Confederation and the uh, Maori government and also the uh, incorporation of everybody, this flag doesn't work for a third party using New Zealand and New South Wales titles. It is only for British and these paramount chiefs of a British D title. And if you've got D titles, they're the only ones that you can use this flag on. So I deter anybody from using the flag because this flag we use is 1834, 11th of March, 1834, 15th of March, 1834, and nothing else. It was not meant for anything else but commercial contracts. If you haven't got a commercial contract, you cannot legally use it because it won't work for anything else other than business. Money, gold, and all the rest of resources, natural resources, land, birth certificates, and everything the British have made, not the New South Wales. They are second-rate authority to a two-party rate contract. Jurisdiction of courts. Okay? So, in Helensville, this magistrate court for paramount chiefs only to develop the native lands of New Zealand. There's no other way to develop it because there's no way of getting money but to borrow it. This country is in a half a trillion debt under the Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth. If you're playing around with those documents, they have nothing to do with these documents in these books. There are only King's jurisdiction here with this eight point star in four corners of the West, Naho, if far, uh, title uh, uh, of the King only. The government of Wellington is only a caretaker government, lower house. Te Te Marae and the Maoris that are running the Iwi Maoris or the Confederation of Chiefs or the Whakameninga is not a contract. It is only a group of people trying to get the upper house going so that they can run a business. They have to talk to those ones in Wellington because the upper house and the lower house in Britain is our business. That's our business. We have a two-party commercial dual government running right now under the federal state this is a federal state government flag that we're using in this book as a Maori Crown King William IV Trust, the money side of any of this flag's business in this corporate world. Now, if you're not talking like that, you cannot use this flag for any other reason that the King gave it for this reason only, nothing else. Okay, so that's that. Um, thank you, dear. That's uh, very good of you. To all the natives, Queen Elizabeth, who gave the Iwi Maori the title of Iwi Maori Crown for their upper house. So they have to stay in that jurisdiction, not wander off into this one. It won't work. Bundy, uh, I'm just telling you that, I've told you that, that you cannot use any of these documents. No one can use these because they're copyright to the Freemasons right here. And you know what will happen if you touch those documents. All the documents in the world, including the government of New Zealand, belongs to the Freemasons, Scottish, <coughs> in Edinburgh Magistrate Court, and the Holy Grail, St. Mary's Church, in Edinburgh. That title is in this book. 
This is a magistrate court straight to Edinburgh Magistrate Court where all the native titles of the world came out of this jurisdiction. And this Rafa Rafa Manukau title, 1832, 1837, and from King George IV and Tira Waikato, Whare Hede Hede Manukau, 1820 to 1830, period. Contract, private, nobody's business. So I'm just going to run through this very quickly, and I'll read this out to you uh, so that it's on the record, and we'll just watch this camera when it flicks and it's run out. And so that'll be the end of that video. Uh, so I'm just going to turn the light on, on here, so that I can read um, there, I can read uh, the words. I'm going to read from what I've put together for added, added this to this original book that was put together as a magistrate court in this court here, that we're taking to Tahiki and we're putting uh, a Hori, uh, Tikuri's, Paramount Chief's titles in here that Morris Baker has got. They'll come underneath this one, Rafa Rafa Manukau and Te Rewaita Tau Whare Hele Manukau as one chief, big block. Big block land, <coughs> so I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. This is a proclamation to the world, watching that all the native countries in the world waiting for this. They're not waiting for Maori, they're waiting for the paramount chiefs that the British selected. And that's the Moriori uh, Manukau uh, title. I'm the executor of that trust, the Moriori Manukau Trust, and Manahi Parapara Mohiri is the direct descendant of the Manukau, Te uh, Rewaikato Wharehere Manukau, and also Rewha Rewha Manukau. He is standing as a Justice of the Peace, JP, in this country, in the courts already as a Queen's Bench Court and now a King's Bench Court. So he will fashion with me uh, as the surrogate King William IV, surrogate King George IV, surrogate King William IV, the third, and surrogate St. Mary's Church, surrogate St. Patrick's eight point star here, and surrogate King George III, the father of King George IV and King William IV, and King Ernest Augustus I. We have a reigning monarch at the moment, King Ernest Augustus V, as live at 64, and he is our oath of office, straight into Westminster Parliament and Edinburgh Magistrate Court, Westminster Magistrate Court as well. And, and that's our legal partner to these paramount chiefs and Manahi, Parapala, Mohini and myself, Hawali, Kahaki, Wano, um, Sheriff of King William IV. Play. Jurisdiction. Okay, now I'm going to read it out to you before the time runs out on the clock. Saturday 11th of, I'm making a statement here to the world. Saturday 11th of November today, 1862. Anniversary day of Rafael Manukau and Rogan. Administrators of Waikato Moriori Paramount Chief Rafael Manukau and Te Rewaikato Wharehere Manukau were the administrators John Hoani Tahaki Wano, Executor, Creditor, and Manahi Parapara Mohini, Moriori Direct Bloodline Descent. The Paramount Chief Rafael Manukau sold his Pukekohe Native District land to British UK King William IV Crown Land Patent Agent John Rogan for five <coughs> British pounds deposit balance to pay on settlement 11th of November under the New Zealand British UK Crown Native Land Act 1862. Reverend Manukau, commercial landowner, linked to his ancestor Paramount Chief Ref of Referee for Manukau, who also sold his Moriori Manukau country of New Zealand, that's supposed to be Te Rewaikato, <coughs> sorry, Te Rewaikato, Whareheri in Manukau, sold New Zealand and Pacific Islands to King George IV, 1820 to 1830, in a private commercial contract in Edinburgh Magistrate Court through Lieutenant William Simons, 23rd Regiment of King George IV Westminster Magistrate Court, British Crown Land. I um, just have to, we got this printed up today and they skipped the pages and put them in the wrong place but however the pages are not numbered because we are adding them as cited fact evidence and we can just put stickers on the pages to make sure it goes into court. These are for court ready. Patents with Tira Waikato Whare Hele in Monaco as a private contractor, contractor, Admiralty Court Martial, contract of Admiralty Court Martial Law Magistrate 
authority, commercial landowner. He's a commercial landowner. The Paramount Chiefs are commercial landowners with their names are in capitals, okay? That makes them commercial uh, in the King's Bench Court. King William IV, 1832 1837, reigning monarch, sovereign, gave Reverend Manukau his 1834 Declaration of War, State of Emergency, Commercial Trading Bank, Military, Protectorate, Magistrate Court Bank, Flag, Sovereign Authority. Okay, so that's what King William gave that for, for him and his protection of business. Uh, authority, Kilda, thank you. Um, chief, and his 13 chiefs to use against third party pirates who may interfere with his commercial contract business. Partnership with King William IV and his brother, King George IV, and his ancestor, Terawakato Wharehere Manukau, Paramount Chiefs Commercial Landowners of New Zealand and Pacific Islands Commercial Land Ownership. Legal Crown Land Patent Title instruments over the native lands of New Zealand and Pacific Islands and British Commonwealth World Native Land Titles using this New Zealand Native Land Act as a precedent case patent. So that's what we're saying. Today's date locks us in a uh, historic, frozen in time day to remember how the chiefs made a commercial deal with the British to exploit and develop their lands. So I'm on Facebook with this today on these statements. The public hui at Tuunguwaka Marae, 10 a.m. Clive Street, corner of Manukau Road, Ipsum, and Paramount Chief Reverend for Manukau, Saturday, historically the 11th of November 2017, is the New Zealand Native Land Act 1862 that formed the first sale and purchase agreement between King William IV, British Crown Land Patent Agent John Rogan of Auckland, New Zealand, and Reverend for Manukau, sale of these Pukekohe Native Land to King William IV. King of Britain, UK. The hui is for two hours to mark this historic day as the blueprint native title for all native titles in the world under the British King's Bench Court jurisdiction today. Locked forevermore. So I'm saying that <coughs> statements we make today are cited on the record today, locked in British Westminster and also in our courts of the Marais and in the district courts and the high courts of New Zealand. Locked today. This state is locked to Te Ungawaka Marae and to the Māori going to Tahake Marae next week to lock that Marae in this Referefa Manukau day with Rogan as British land patent crown title under King's Bench Court jurisdiction and Justice. Manahi Parapara Mohini District descended to Moriori Paramount Chief Reverend Mahi Manakao and Hoani Kahaki Wano, that means Executor of the Moriori Paramount Chief Tirawakato Farehere Manakao, Trust 1820 to 1830 King George IV, private contract sale and purchase of New Zealand and Pacific Islands countries, 1820 to 1830 period, fixed into New Zealand Moriori Manakao Rogan Wano. My Crown King William IV Trust history. On this day, 11th of November 2017, is exactly 155 years since the 1862 Native Land Act was created between Reverend Manukau and Crown Agent John Rogan in Auckland Province Magistrate Court, Awaroa, that's here. We celebrate the year anniversary of Moriori Paramount Chief Reverend Manukau today. Saturday, the 11th November 2017, we have a public hui to celebrate the anniversary of Paramount Chief Reverend Manukau. <coughs> and so it's his sale of his land in Pukekohe uh, that we are locking to ourselves today. Uh, is Man Manukau Marae at the end of Afatu Road in Afatu Waiku boundary area of his ancestral lands at Afatu Village Park site on the south of his Manukau Harbour linked to his other marae on the north Manukau Harbour, mouth at Pupanga, Manukau site, part site at Cornwallis, his main part site linked to his Manukau Awaroa part site in Helensville, to his Manukau part site in Rafati, 
on the top of the hill above his township in the Bay of Islands, where he is buried. We link that far side to his ancestor, Paramount Chief Terawakato Whareheri in Manukau, Mona Totally Par site in Cambridge, Waikato District area of his 1820 commercial contract title to King George IV, 197 years ago to today, 11th of November 2017, for the record in New Zealand, my Crown King William IV Trust, land title, ownership titles to New Zealand and Pacific Islands countries, legal titles and my Crown Federal State Bank of the World, the my Crown Native Magistrate Court Judgment Creditors Instruments here today. You are welcome to come witness this event from 10 a.m. to 12 noon Saturday, 11th of November 2017. Please wait if we are late getting there. So today was announced late. There was not much notice for anybody to appear today because we only wanted this hui to record this day to take up the Tahike as being authenticated here in front of uh, Annette uh, Hakarai. Uh, Matthew, she'll be here a little later when I bring her up to come down and to take the last bit of the movie, uh, video, to lock her to the committee here that she's passionate about. The history of this piece of land is one piece of all the land in New Zealand. Uh, this way mandate and the event is transferred from this Te Uruwaka Marae, Ipsen Clyde Street corner of Manukau Road, Ipsen, Newmarket to Taheke Marae, 20 minutes west of Kaikaui, on the way to Dargaville, on the left of the, over the river, for Saturday, 18th of November 2017, with the Porphyry on Friday, 17th of November 2017, at 5 o'clock. The hui is for the ancestor Hori Tikuri, who has the same British title deeds as the Referefa Manaka. If you have old deeds of Hori Tikuri or any chief with a British deed title, then bring it with you to this hui Porphyry to discuss the British, UK, New Zealand, 1960. N62 Native Land Act between Referee from Manukau and the British Crown agent John Rogan to claim these titles with us on this day linked to Referee from Manukau, Auckland, New Zealand, Moriori title jurisdiction under the 1834 Declaration of War flag here, Commercial Trading Bank flag that we are enforcing through the will under Referee from Manukau, Referee from Manukau, this flag here, <coughs> and the 1862, 1862 Native Land Act in this book, President Case, over all native title lands in the world under these King's Bench Court land patents laws under this flag. This flag has gone around the world, we're tracking where it went, and to put it back in its own jurisdiction of King's Bench Court, from the King, Queen's Bench fraudulent dealing with the Rothschild Bank and all the agents of the Crown who are now liable, and John Key has liable in New Zealand, and <coughs> the NZ Bank liable under the 10, under the one trillion pound note debtors instrument as judgment debtors, and we are the judgment creditors on this King's Bench Native Magistrate Court here in Auckland and this land of the sovereign authority of ourselves, which was given to us to protect our business interests as. Native Paramount Chiefs. Now it doesn't work for Arikis because they don't have a contract. The Paramount, the, the Whakamininga has no contract. It is only a group of people and so they have a problem to deal with themselves. And Bundy has gone that way. Uh, this is a statement that Bundy has broken from me and supports me and signed these documents in this book here, right here on the front page and supports what I do with the British, but he's staying with the Government of New Zealand and Kelvin Davis of the Labour Party. He's going along with them in that jurisdiction, cannot use this flag for that jurisdiction. The Maori Government cannot use this flag for that jurisdiction because it's a King's flag in the King's Bench Court and nowhere else. They cannot use these documents because you get a found note data instrument on your head as third party tampering with these documents. If anybody appears to be using anything from this book that's online, then they'll get a pound note, a trillion pound note on their head with the balance the Queen has to pay because it's her people that are making all the mistakes. Liable. <coughs>
the Hui Mandate event is transferred from this Jilmo Marae, Clive Street, oh, I'll say that. Um, right, that's, we've, we've gone through Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth II jurisdiction in the Queen's Bench Court, a uh, third party commercial contract, private business of King William IV, 1834 trade, trading bag, uh, flag, first and second party partnership, commercial landowners. I've been through that and Rothschilds, but I'm making this statement that in no way is anybody allowed to use these documents. And the picture here of uh, myself, um, uh, Manahini, Parapara Mohini, and also John Tahana with the Korowai on as the authority of this Marae. We have chosen him and, uh, and uh, He Nare uh, Tahana uh, as the jurisdiction of this Marae to that Referefa Manikau title to Hori uh, Tikuri, Paramount Chief in Tahiti. Uh, in that area, uh, with just the three of us, or the four of us, uh, at this stage from this marae. <coughs> I'm, I'm happy to say that uh, Dion is here to represent the Māori side of culture and heritage and uh, whakapapa. Uh, he will look after that in the sense of Kafaru the Chai, uh, of um, um, uh, Raglan, uh, and, and, and uh, his uh, uh, Tupuna Filakupa, uh, and all that history is in Nazfatua, and also his Tainui area, which is Waikato area down there. So he's very much uh, the uh, mantle from what I, he's learning from me <coughs> to go ahead uh, for tomorrow's people, and we park up all this history and go from today's people. He's today's people, and these are the instructions for him. In this book I'm reading here, I'm adding to um, uh, John Rogan, the, uh, um, at that time, Kemera, Fai, Tohu, Wai, Haki, Repa, Tuke, Manu, Wiri, Hakoro, Wiripo, Hoterene, Mene, Tao, Parangi, Refa Refa, Hare Hongi, Tareha, Tehira Pure, Manu, Pairau, Pata, Wiribu, and Hua Rahi. Those chiefs are around Refa Refa Manuka. So they split the name Refa Refa and Ha, left the Manuka out, and just went with Refa Refa and changed it to Rewa. And so they're mischiefed around with these titles, and that's where the fraud is. Tira Waikato, they split the name Tira Waikato and made Tira Waikato Wharehe Eden Manuka from a male paramount chief into a female Tira Waikato, the wife of Mahanga <coughs> and the other wife, Ripiro. And that Whakapapa came from that, from the, the tribes up north, uh, Natikawa, uh, Natikawa, Na, Nati, Natikahu, and Te Roro, uh, uh, Te Uriha, uh, Te Tau. All those tribes up there have made their Whakapapa from that Manakawa title. And it was done by Rogan and Manukau himself, Mohi Temati Manukau IV. Those Manukau took the female line of Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth II and fashioned the Iwi Maori titles in violation of the real Te Rewaikato Wharehere in Manukau in Cambridge, Waikato Tainui area, and that's where the problem is. I've exposed the two Manukaus in this Rogan uh, Ratana Church, Manukau, marriage of convenience that I've been with Manukau all this time and the Freemasons in Ellenville, Aurora Native Magistrate Court is in this that Ma Mohi Manukau was 50 years in the uh, Grand Lodge with the Freemasons in Aurora, Ellenville, where I've got all those titles with the real Referefa Manukau in Manukau, but I in Afitu, and the real Manukau down in Tanui or Waikato, in that sense. Dion here will pick up on that and run with it in the rangatiras of today. The younger ones are going to pick this up, the truth of what I'm saying.
these are letters from John Rogan. I won't read them because they're hard to read. But they are online as uh, 1862, November the 23rd, 1862, the letters of John Rogan that goes with his title with Rafael Kabanika. And that's the end of that. It's factual, cited evidence in any court of law that cannot be refuted. This is what we're using to take Cook Street land title back and the whole of New Zealand off the government of Wellington. They do not have any substance like this to rub two stones together. <coughs> so those are the new pages and then we come down to Ernest Augustus, our King of Britain, UK, Hanover and the eight point star you can see on his front is the same eight point star on these flags. Nahoe Far, four corners of the earth, earth four uh, uh, north east south west in the blue sea of Admiralty and the blue skies for trade and uh, banking, commercial contracts under the British kings that I've mentioned to you and the military navy to protect our business and it's nobody else's business. It's not even the Queen's business. She's left the Maori iwi and gone on her own private business and that's all there is to it. So that completes uh, our hui today um, and um, uh, uh, Diha or um, uh, entertainer will give us a closing waiata and a karakia to bless this day and to mark it down in history as being going from here to uh, uh, Tahege Marae next uh, Saturday. I'll be going up on Thursday uh, with uh, um, um, uh, uh, Morris Baker will pick me up and he has been very vigilant on his titles and they are perfected titles. And I'm one for real estate and jurisdictions of Admiralty Court Martial Law on anyone who violates this flag on the 1834 Declaration of War. It has nothing to do with the Whakameninga up in Ngāpui because they have no business contracts. They have to have all these documents and I've given Bundy and Hedewini this book but they won't be using it. They're not using the X of King William IV and they cannot use commercial contracts with that flag because it's, they are in a different jurisdiction and they have to get there. Bundy has chosen the upper house of parliament in Titi Marae. He said, forget about Taheke Marae. And that's the first mistake because I've been in this over 20 years putting all this together. I've been through what he's just starting up in what he's doing with Whakamini. I've been through that with Moi Manukau over 20 years and all the other chiefs who have died have left all their jurisdiction and all their documents, all their titles with me as their administrator of their business. They couldn't get off the ground because it's our banker's biggest secret that no one knows unless you're in the real estate business and you're in the land's titles and you're in broking on share market. So that's what this is all about. But we have all that to go through next week. And after that, it's Cook Street seize the title with this Rick Warren, with all that much in it, and Refa Refa Manakao. His name was left out of the Lynn's titles I put into the Land Information Office to put the Manakao name in the title as an interest in the land. They failed to do that and discharged it and discharged the landowners on Cook Street who invested 300 million and lost them. <coughs> so there we go. That is the title. That is going back into the hands of the paramount chiefs. And once again, if you have any deeds of title, bring it up to Kaiga if you're in Nabui, because this flag is Nabui flag of that time period of those 13 chiefs under a contract, not the Whakameninga, under a contract. And that's all it is. The Whakameninga is Queen Victoria in Titi Marae. That's where Bundy has gone with the New Zealand Labour government, the New Zealand First Party, the Ratna, and also with the Maori government. They've gone into that jurisdiction away from this flag and there's no way they can entertain 
this jurisdiction and the written content that belongs to the Freemasons who are assassins of anybody who tampers with these contracts. Beware, please do not interfere with these because it's lethal and it only belongs to those paramount chiefs and that's all there is to it. Thank you very much. We'll now pass over to uh, d -Hop, uh, the entertainer, the professional for all Pacific Island people and he's very good at what he does as his profession as a musician, international and the islands and uh, especially the Cook Islands. Uh, his wife, Tika, is from the Cook Islands and very familiar with Maori, uh, 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 culture, uh, heritage, um, language, waiata, spiritual, and all that side, and he takes care of, I take care of business. I'm in the commercial world, he's in the spiritual world, to match the two together. One can't do without the other. Thank you. Dion, welcome. Thank you. Yeah. 